Satnam. Satnam. In Kundalini Yoga, we often talk about the our soul consciousness, and the soul consciousness is is a thread of the universal unity or consciousness. And when we're born, we we make a contract. We choose our parents. We make a, a contract for the learning that we're going to do on Earth. Um, and then the, the, there's this impulse of the soul to descend into matter, onto the Earth. And we move through the ethers. There's this pull through the electromagnetic field of the Earth. We move through the ethers. Uh, the um, electromagnetic field of the earth through the tattvas and the gunas and then we arrive through the tenth gate which is our spiritual center it's the it's the area of the fontanella that, that closes when we're around well when we're a young child it closes it's still very open when we're babies and so this is the entry point into matter into Maya and as the soul moves from the infinite to the finite we forget that union we forget that unity and that connection and, and throughout the life there's always that process of forgetting and remembering remembering and forgetting and we get these opportunities to wake up again to that so the birth process, as, as the child is, is born, is quite a process for us all. And it's quite interesting when the child is born, the child often has that sort of fogginess, that foggy look, that bewilderment. Um, you know, a bit like, yeah, there's a sort of otherworldliness to the child. Um, and in, in some indigenous cultures, they do a lot of ceremony around this to let the soul know. Um, they'll, they'll sing to the child, you know, welcome the child so that the, that the soul really knows that, that it's arrived at the right place, you know, that it was meant to be. So there's this welcoming. And, um, and of course, then there's this bonding process and the child grows. You know, it's often said that angels are, are, are jealous of the human birth and the human incarnation because we get the opportunity to do some great work here. We get the opportunity to settle the account, our karmic account, through the relationships and different environments that we've chosen. And so there's this growing opportunity, but of course there's always that possibility that we, we fall back asleep and, and forget and uh, don't wake up. And sometimes we can just do this process over and over again. The soul comes, is, is, is born, falls asleep again and uh, then dies. And then it's possible to, to have a whole life without one conscious breath. Um, but then we get another opportunity hopefully to, to, to come and, and evolve our consciousness and wake up. So when we're a child, the first breath that we take, uh, there's this imprint and there's that, that moment, that inhabiting, that coming into being. And, and through that being, through life, Shakespeare said, all the world's a stage. And the, the Guru's teachings tell us that uh, we come in naked and we go out naked and there's this play that we can uh, embrace, embody, enjoy um, and sometimes throughout the life we get so pulled out of the truth and caught up in stuff, entangled in situations and, and really truly forgetting and then through the process of, of yoga or any spiritual practice, we get to, to come back home to, to the center of ourself. So the body is, is the vehicle for this process. Um, and the soul is, is the passenger, if you like, and the mind is the driver. So there's this beautiful analogy that um, the body really can, can, can house the soul 
and it, it can either be we can see it like a plastic bag or a temple we can treat it in a, a very sacred way or we can abuse our bodies you know not care for it not have any sense of self-care so through the journey of the soul we have the, the, the choice of will how are we gonna be how are we gonna navigate our experience through life and we do have a choice how we do that and of course any spiritual practice any um, yogic um, work gives you the opportunity to do it in a, in a, in a dharmic way in a way that that serves your soul that allows consciousness to come through and um, being or becoming the authentic self that you are and um, so with, the, with that, with that you know, analogy of the, the, the body being the vehicle and the soul is a passenger then the mind can serve the soul ideally hopefully um, toward that fruition toward that um, evolution and that opening so I invite you all to take a deep inhale and draw in your spirit let your spirit inhabit download more of who you truly are through life so that you can be the best that you are and share the best of yourself in all in all facets in all relationships <laughs>